What's up YouTubers, Johnny DIY here. Today we are going to be making a sliding glass door doggy door. If you guys are new to my channel, do me a favor, click the subscribe and the bell so you can get all my new videos. Alright guys, let's get to it. Okay, so this is the sliding glass door we're going to be working on today. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to check out all the channels around it and see how this channel on this side is inset. That's good. Also up here. But it looks like this one's not really inset, only about a sixteenth of an inch, so that's going to be a little bit of an issue. So the basic thing I was thinking was maybe a whole sheet of plywood right in the gap that we can close in, have a little hole at the bottom, and then it kind of lock in. So you're going to want to take a couple measurements. How wide you need your door open for your dog to get through, just do a couple tests. I figured I got small dogs, so I'm only going to do eight inches. And then you're also going to want to know the height of the dog. Okay, let's measure the total height of our doggy door. It's going to be from the top of the lower channel. And it's going to be all the way up into the very top of the inside channel on the top. That's so that we can still slide it down into the bottom of the channel. And then have it fit in the top. If we did it from top to inside bottom we wouldn't be able to squeeze it in all right so ideally you'd buy a whole sheet of plywood probably five eighths inch three quarters inch whatever will fit in your channel i'm just going to use these couple scraps i'm going to rip this one down in half and then i'm going to connect the three together just so i can get rid of these scraps and i don't have to go and buy some lumber but if you don't have any wood just get a full sheet and you can actually have them cut the dimension at like home depot or lowe's for free I'll go ahead and clamp this piece of wood that has a nice straight edge to use as a guide. I can trace the width onto this one. Now I got all three pieces. Now I can go ahead and cut off a little off the end to match my drawing right here of 79 inches. I'll connect the three pieces with some of these cheap furring strips. These are about an inch and a half by three quarters of an inch thick. Now I'll tack the piece on here, leaving a half inch here. That's going to slide into the channel. Alright, I got it all pretty much put together. See this nice little channel or the slider on each side. Now I'm just going to cut a couple pieces to fit over this. Okay, now let's go ahead and cut the hole out of the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and leave an inch down here at the bottom for extra strength across. Eight inches right in between. So I'm going to cut this whole section away. And we can trace out a nice circle. Now let's give everything a sand so the dogs don't get their fur caught on the wood. Okay, now after some deliberation about this size, uh, I went ahead and checked the dogs and they can get in a smaller size, so I made this piece of wood I'm just going to screw in and then I can adjust it if I want. I can make it smaller or bigger. You know, the size, it'll be harder for someone to wriggle through that size. Uh, now you could install like a swing door, like a piece of clear plastic or rubber on this. I'm just going to screw this uh, piece of rope up here. Then I can put some clothespins on here, and then I can put uh, a towel, and then I'll be able to change that towel out when I need to wash it. thought that would be an easy solution. So I set it in the track, and then I cut some holes right here with the drill. That way I can slide it in the latches and get caught. And it closes really tight like that. And then I just cut a little piece of stick, and then I can wedge that right behind the door. Now you can't pull it open at all. Alright guys and that's it. That is how to make a DIY doggy door for a sliding door. If you guys like this video give it a thumbs up for me and subscribe if you're new and check out my other videos. Click the bell so you can get those new ones. Alright guys thanks for watching Johnny DIY. Keep on doing it yourself. Take care.